Hello everyone, I'm here back with one more open source project to present to you guys. And this time we are talking about a vanilla neural network in the browser and using JavaScript. So basically on this project, I'm going to train a neural network in the browser and using a vanilla neural network. So my own implementation of uh, our artificial neural network. So I'm not using library. And then I will compare the performance of this uh, vanilla network with TensorFlow. And uh, we are going to be using this neural net to train the uh, digits recognition, as you can see it here. And we will be using different approaches. We'll be using our fully connected neural network with our vanilla. And then we'll do the same with TensorFlow. And then we'll do using TensorFlow to build a convolution neural network, which is the most recommended approach when you are dealing with images. And this course, it's a, a, it's a follow up on a course that I, I have in Udemy, where I'm going a little deep on the deep uh, learning and more specifically convolution neural network, where I implement a, a neural network from scratch in Python. And I'm just translating that to JavaScript and show it here on, on in the browser and use JavaScript, which uh, I believe it's more accessible to everybody. And uh, let's have a quick look what we have. So this is the, uh, the project itself. And you can choose which type of model we want to use. And we're going to start with our, so you can see here, dense net with, with TensorFlow and convolution with TensorFlow as well. We're going to start with my own implementation and let's see how it goes. And this project, it's using the image that we are using to train our um, model. So basically it's already started, it's already identified some, some images, but you keep training it's just 5% of the train it's happening. You already have a, a decent, let's say result and you can, um, follow up on the losses going down, right? And. This image we are downloaded from one single sprite that we have available here on the, on the, from the Google team. And we then, we can see that it's worked pretty really well. And then we are going to do the same with, uh, I'm going to start again losing this time dense net to using TensorFlow. You can see that it's this with TensorFlow, it's much better, right? It's much faster. But, you know, this is just an experiment and uh, obviously uh, Google team is bigger and you know, have more knowledge on how to build well deep learning and they use WebGL and everything. So um, a lot of strategy behind it. So it's super fast. And when we finish the, the test, we get a current at 98. My implementation will get 87%. So it's pretty the same, pretty close. Uh, then I'm going to just run the last one that would be uh, convolution version, which you will uh, supposed to get a, um, a better um, occurrence in the end. So goes start not so good, but then when it start to improve, it's improved very well. Um, I will also go a little bit into the code later, but when you're talking about convolution, I would like you guys to go and check it out my course because you're going to deep on the convolution part. And for example, when it, on the vanilla implementation in Python, I had added a lot of uh, concepts and more description using uh, notebooks where you can explain things better. So to we start talking about uh, products, what is product, how multipli uh, matrix multiplication works. Then we'll talk a little bit about the uh, back backpropagation algorithm. We talk a little bit about function loss, uh, derivatives, gradient, and why learning rates, active function that we are using. So we describe more here. So I suggest to check it out this other repository, which is sending in for developers and also my course that would be for free. Okay. Going back to our project, this is the project and this is a, a briefly brief overview. Uh, in the next video, we are going to look at the implementation itself uh, that we did in JavaScript that I, I believe would be uh, very helpful to understand deep learning under the hood. Okay. And you'll be doing that comparing on our code with uh, TensorFlow. 